In our last video, we discussed about the international politics and international relation, where we see the difference between these two terminology. In today's lecture, we will see the realistic and idealistic approach to study international politics. So, make sure you have a good idea about these two terminology, that is international relation and international politics, in order to understand this lecture. Let's start. Well, the question is, why different approaches? Well, we all know, international politics is a new subject, and being a new subject, people generally do, they are using the two terms, that is international politics and international relation interchangeably. Right, meaning, they are using the term international politics and international relation as a synonyms, and that is not appropriate, right? So that is why its supporter who support international politics, they are working hard to establish international politics as an independent subject. Well, what does it mean by independent subject? In some part of the world, you can say international politics and international relation. This is taught simultaneously. So, uh, but the supporter of international politics, what they want, they want to uh, a study of international politics should be separately from international relation as they are of belief that international politics is different from international relation they have different definition different meaning different scope and so on so in order to achieve this purpose that international politics should be separated from international relation and it must be studied separately so in order to achieve this purpose they have developed various approaches related to study of international politics so among them we can see here is, is historical approach in historical approach to study international politics well what does it mean how to study international politics well how to study interna international politics according to historical approach it's very simple and it's clear from the name itself uh, well who believe uh, the thinkers who believe in historical approach they made emphasis to study history well historical development play a very key role if you have a good idea you, if you have a good knowledge about historical affect historical development so you can easily understand the current ongoing political situation of a country right so uh, historical approach is very simple and it is clear from the name itself as we discussed now institution approach well what does it mean by institution approach institutional approach to study international politics is also an approach to study international politics well in such kind of in uh, approach uh, the, uh, they believe uh, uh, who believe in institutional approach the thinkers who believe in institutional approach they believe in creation of institution well what does it mean by creation of institution we are talking about here the institution of world level uh, so for example like uh, European Union United Nation G7 G20 and so on and uh, they also believe in development of international law well we are talking about institutional approach and institutional approach to study international politics also emphasis to development of instant international law they believe that insti uh, international law play a very key role to maintain law and order situation in the world and they also promoting peace well how they are promoting peace by disarmament they have a they made principle they did down some principle and one of the principle is disarmament right then idealistic approach will discuss in detail realistic will discuss in detail well what is system approach well it's clear from the name itself system approach it means system approach to study international politics in terms of system study well so they made emphasis to study system so well there is lots of systems say for example there's ecosystem but we are studying political science so we'll talk about political system so let's consider an example of india in india you can find the political system of parliamentary system right in parliamentary system okay one more thing that is where there is system there is subsystem and in fact there is multiple subsystem you can find so in india there is parliamentary system and under parliamentary system there are some subsystem in the form of upper house lower house and who will the chairperson of upper house and lower house and multiple their committees are there and so on and so forth so uh, one can easily understand by the system word where there is system there must be a subsystem in fact multiple system and these all system are interdependent on each other so study system approach to understand international politics is an also an approach to study international politics well now apart from that if we see there is marxist approach and we all know karl marx so they believe in socialism and their anti-imperialism and many more things to welfare of the people and so on and so forth 
so such kind of approach is called Marxist approach now we'll see the decision making approach and we all know decision making approach to study international politics is comes from behavioralism now decision making approach what does it mean well well decision making meaning in a particular situation one can how one can react now night uh, well now in in terms of international politics we are talking about a particular country so in particular situation how a particular country is reacting right how they are making decision how they are good or bad in their decision making so uh, this is also an approach to study international politics so there are many approaches to study international politics so we can say the area of international politics is now become more wider right so we can say it it is different from international relation and we can study it uh, separately from international relation now without wasting any time let us start the study and to understand the realistic approach well as it is clear from the name itself that is realistic approach so that must be based on reality and what is the reality of world we all know in world today there is a struggle for power right everyone wants to uh, grow day by day they want to become more powerful right as compared well if you see the example usa wants uh, to become more powerful in the world and as well as china also wants to become more powerful in the world so there is struggle for power and that is reality right so such kind of thing that is based on reality is study under the international politics according to realistic approach and what else realistic approach uh, talk about uh, they're talking about rivalry strive and struggle for power always continue among the states and cannot be controlled by international law right so this is what realistic approach talk about and they do not give any importance to ideology right so whether it is socialism it is uh, communalism whether it is uh, capitalism they do not give any importance to them right what is good for country that is good right whether it is capitalism or socialism they give importance only to national importance national interest right now uh, they have different interpretation of morality well if someone telling lie it is immoral but if someone telling lie in order to promote or protect the national interest this is moral right so in this way you can understand realistic approach they are talking about reality they are talking about the reality that is going on on the world in the world you can see rivalry strive and struggle for power is always continue and uh, note giving uh, importance to ideology give importance only to national interest and different interpretation of the morality and in this way you can understand the approach that is called realistic approach now if we talk about idealistic approach so also this is very very clear from the name itself but before discussing idealistic approach what does it mean by idealistic okay what does it mean by idealistic first of all we should have know the idealistic without bothering the past and present they are concerning for the future right they are concerning with the future and they want to lay down the principle to make the future better right so what was happened in past what is right now going on they do not bother about they just concerned with the future and for the betterment of the future right so they are idealistic right so according to idealistic approach to study international politics they are of the view that man is good by nature well they are talking about man is good by nature and on the other side uh, when we talk about realistic they are talking about man is you know selfish by nature right so idealistic approach uh, the thinkers who believe in idealistic approach they are of the view that man is good by nature as they have a qualities of kindness compassion and love etc etc right and they also want to build a world which is free from immorality well when it is free from immorality that should be based on morality right there should be no violence right so they are talking about they want to build a world which is free from immorality violence and power politics that means that should be based on morality that should be based on non-violence that should be that there should not be a power and there is struggle for power right and apart from that if we say there is rejection for totalitarianism right so when we talk about totalitarianism what does it mean it means the concentration of power in a few hands right so they oppose they oppose the totalitarianism they talk 
uh, there, there of the view uh, when there is totalitarianism then there is a con concentration of power in the few hands so the misuse of this power is always possible and probability of misuse of the power is always remain there as the very famous quote is <coughs> that power corrupt the man and absolute power corrupt the man absolutely right and apart from that idealistic approach they believe in faith in international organization so there is in united nation european union and there is unit scale there is g7 g20 and so on so there are a good they have a good faith in international organization they are of the belief that they are promoting peace and they maintaining law and order in the world now supporter of establishment of wall street now one of the good and one of the you know curious I uh, think their ideology is that they are a supporter of establishment of a world state with world government. Suppose if such kind of things uh, comes true, well, such kind of things, well, uh, this is not seems true, but such kind of things if happen, if there is establishment of world state, what does it mean? There should be no boundaries. All the world, whole world is combining into a single world. So there should be no boundary. There is no conflict right no conflict no struggle for power and so on and so forth so this is about idealistic approach and realistic approach and uh, we talk about idealistic what does uh, what does it mean by idealistic and see many things so thank you very much for listening